as we're getting into Hispanic Heritage Month, we wanted to celebrate not only with our staff and our members, but also as a family. And when we think of family, we think of different aspects that impact our daily life. But we don't think about how our culture and how our heritage impacts our daily life outside of the YMCA. And that's why we decided to incorporate a little more of the family aspect to our Hispanic Heritage Month. Being the son of two immigrants, both my mom and my dad were born in Mexico and came over and became U.S. citizens in 1966. My dad actually served in the Army and that's how he gained his citizenship, so I am a military brat. But having that pride and that culture of two parents that worked hard, that came over, that wanted a better life for their family is something that I will never forget and that I'm super appreciative of. And that what I try to give to my kids from that part of my culture is hard work being very ethical, being very truthful, and being very responsible with how you conduct yourself as a, an, an individual so that people see that you're a good person, that people see that you have values of, of your family, of where you come from. Um, what is the best advice or what is the best quality that you got from grandpa or from nana? important quality that I got from grandpa or uh, grandma is that um, grandpa once told me never to give up and keep going even though when it's hard. Okay and what about Nana? Uh, she once told me to stay um, as she were never change for anyone else. Perfect. As we grow not only as leaders also as husbands, wives, you know, children, grandparents, whatever the case may be, we take, we have to take into consideration the importance that family plays in our everyday life. Being the only Hispanic executive director in the Central Florida Y is something that I'm extremely proud of, something that is very important to me and something that I pride myself in, not only for my leadership at the Y, but also for my leadership as a husband, my leadership as a father, and in my leadership as a soldier, as, as I so serve in the Army Reserve, I take that very, very prideful in that. So my leadership from the military also applies to my YMCA leadership and also applies to my kids' leadership. You know, I don't take that for granted of the values that I try to instill in my kids. But at the same time, we don't want to forget where we come from. You know, as we grow ourselves, we don't ever want to forget that we were born and raised in a Hispanic, in a Hispanic um, household and that we have those Hispanic values of family, of, you know, bringing together our culture and celebrating. I can remember a time when we were in El Paso that we had parties every Sunday. Everybody would come to my mom's house. Everybody would eat cookout food. We would watch the Cowboys on Sunday. we get parties every for every birthday, barbecues. And we don't ever want to lose that. You know, we don't ever want to let our kids forget their heritage and where they come from. So that's the big message that I try to get across to my kids and to my family. I take great pride in being a, a, a leader as a Mexican-American when it comes to being a father, being a wide leader, being a soldier, and just being a family man. So never forgetting that my Mexican roots, my Hispanic roots are why I am the man I am today.